it's time to focus on adding some textures to our scene. What I love about it, Unreal Engine is all the free stuff they give us. There is Quixel Mega Scans, there is the free monthly content, there is the permanent free collections, there are just so many. For you guys in architecture, go to Epic Games Launcher, go to the marketplace. I want you to search for Twin Motion Materials for Unreal Engine. Add it to your account and then go to your library in Epic Games Launcher and you will find it in the vault. Be careful though, it's 9GB when you download it, add it to your project, in our case it's class 1, and let's just wait for download to finish, you will have I think 500 materials, it's verifying the content, it takes few minutes if you already have it installed or download it, now you will never worry about finding materials again, if you go to materials, you will have all kinds of materials, you will have brick, ceiling, concrete, emissive, wood, tiles, all that good stuff. And now in the next lesson we're going to assign some materials. We need to assign glass material on these guys, so let's go to glass, find glass clear and click and drag and there we go. Let's find some concrete for the walls or some even black materials, so we will take care of that one by one. I usually like to experiment with textures, see how stuff looks while working on my project and improve based on that. So I like this texture to add it to the floor. And now by the way, we have like super bad reflections because we don't have anything to capture our reflections. So to do that, go to visual effects and add a sphere reflection capture and now you will see how the texture is reflecting now. Awesome. Let's go to wood and find something for uh, for the table as a placeholder. Just placeholders, you know, that's fine. Let's find in walls, wall coverings, we, we have blaster and we have stucco. And we can even have like this blaster, work in progress. We could add matte like this or blaster coating like this and I like this one I actually like this one so let's keep it let's add it to this wall for our kitchen I'm going to make a material for it so I'm gonna make a material instance of this and call it MI black matte assign it to our kitchen like this there we go so it's 0.5 Let's make it maybe 0.4, the roughness, this looks better. Maybe we could add a light here to make this area warmer, let's also do that. Let's bring a spotlight, put it inside, go to the top. If you click control and click and hold the middle mouse button, you would have this line. So if you move it to the top like this, you would go to the top view. If you move it to the left or the right, you would go to the side views. If you move it uh, in this direction, <laughs> you would go to the perspective view. So this direction or this direction is the perspective. This is the bottom, top, left, right, and perspective. So go to the top, make sure it's in the middle move it even up further up to here for example make the cone angle the outer cone angle something like 70 a tonation radius increased decrease it to something like 400 I don't want it to to go all the way just want a simple normal light to give it an effect like this you can do either uh, point light or you can add another fake light like this and you can play with the attonation radius and now we have this we need a material like this on our TV maybe on our TV we could name it just TV 
and make it e glossy like this maybe that's way too glossy so let's do it 0.35 it's just a box but that's fine I would assign to all closets the same black material looking good what about this guy not bad let's add a glass and in 3ds max I add a second material ID to the border of the glass so we can assign a different uh, glass color usually I like to use either a border material or just a different material that is maybe slightly tinted so this gives a very nice effect of thickness on our glass I like to give these skirt boards also black material and this wall could be darker maybe we can find something from mega scans we will see about that should be good for now I will finish assigning materials and come back I added some materials I like I know it's dark I will change that now when I change the lighting so regarding the lights I'm going to remove the directional light we added and I'm going to remove the sky atmosphere this guy and we'll leave the fog and the skylight I imported from HDRI Haven this, this HDRI so let me save it and let's change the HDRI type from SLS capture scene to cube map and let's add our HDRI image it's set to stationary or static now to get the effect of this image we need to build the light I also increased the direct indirect light map intensity from 1 to 3 or 4 let's try a 3 and let's build the light again now we have slightly better lighting we can take care of that later what we need to do our sphere reflection capture is way too large so let's make it smaller and let's make multiple instances out of it so let's make one that's way smaller like 250 and Unreal Engine captures first the smaller pieces and then the larger ones so let's make another one and make it even smaller and now we can see like this one is captured first then this one you see this one is not getting affected and then this one the global one usually on objects where we have multiple reflections or like uh, where we need more accurate reflections you can have smaller sphere reflection captures like this and you can set them around your scene or your objects and experiment with it maybe one here in the kitchen let's set it to like 500 you can always play with these settings and see which one bring, brings the best uh, result so this should be cool now I'm going to import the rest of the assets so the bed the sofa and some uh, light sources let's go back to max 